This is part two of the story whereby we have an old Dofar magician. He was referred to as a conjurer by the lady, but he didn't like that term. He said he insisted he was a magician. And the last conjurer of weak magician wowed the kids by being anarchic. But this guy, the man with the hat, is performing here, but the kids are very bored. And this is 1970. So the kids uh, are at a party. He's the performer. And uh, they're not too keen on his act so far. In fact, young lads begin to fall asleep. And this strident young lady is starting to give him some talk back. Pointing out that it's just not working. And he's saying, now kids, remember the magic word? And she's saying, we've forgotten. And... It's not really exciting them. A group of kids are getting more bored by the minute and he's having a real problem keeping their attention. And other kids are making comments to each other about what the predictability of the performance and how they're expecting scarves and handkerchiefs and even a Union Jack to come out of the hat. One girl says, perhaps you'll draw a rabbit out of the hat. But the boy says, no, he's not going to do anything like that. So... They can't take it anymore, so they all rise up, majority of them anyway, and head off to carry on with the party, leaving the old duffer magician with only two members of the audience left. And uh, now it's time for the paycheck and the posh lady is busy at the table writing him out his cheque for his fee which is three pounds he's a bit reluctant to take the whole three quid because he feels that he shortchanged the kids by not completing his act and she's saying it's okay don't worry about it um I'll just finish off your check here. There you go, sir. And presents him with his fee of three quid. And uh, next, he's politely shown the door. And that's when he starts to perhaps look for recommendations and gets a bit unsure. Did anything go wrong? Was there any complaints? And this is when the women suggest perhaps his act wasn't radical enough, as in the radical in the old days, meaning innovative and original. <laughs> 